Breaking news. A monolith discovered in the Utah desert. Nobody knows what it is, but I figured it out. Stay tuned. We're going to talk about it here on Crazy Talk. Roll the intro. I love it. Okay. All right. So, welcome to an exciting episode of Crazy Talk. Uh, the mystery of the Utah monolith has finally been solved. <laughs> I... No, not you. Not you. Uh, according to this article, according to this article that I read, it says that they have partially figured it out. Partially figured it out. They know its location. Well, so they may know where it is, and I know where it is as well, but I know what it is. I, and, and I, this is breaking news. Nobody is covering it except for here at Crazy Talk. Okay, so in case you aren't familiar with uh, what we're talking about, a couple days back, uh, Daily Mail, at least uh, I was aware that Daily Mail was the one that broke the story about a monolith being discovered in the Utah desert. At the time, they were not telling anybody uh, its location. It was just a couple guys were flying around in a helicopter. They were, what, scientists, I believe the article said. And they saw something shiny. They, I think, if, if memory serves, they were, like, looking for sheep or goats or something. Yeah, they were, yeah something. I was trying to pull it back up. It had to do with horns, horned goats, horned sheep. Ho horny know. sheep. I mean, it's fine. <laughs> And so they were looking for these horny sheep, and uh, instead of finding the horny sheep, they found uh, this this erected monument uh, in the desert. And so they say that it was between uh, 10 and 12 feet high um, it, with stainless steel riveted yeah. together. Yeah, did you see the video? It was kind of funny. These guys were, like, crawling all over it, like, up on top of it and around it. Well, at one point in time, they, there's even photographs. That we'll, we'll throw up a picture here real quick um, of... The, the gentlemen standing on each other's shoulders yeah. trying to show the height of this um, of this of this thing. They were counting uh, bighorn sheep from the helicopter. There you I go. I would like that job. Uh, counting the bighorn sheep from the helicopter. I mean, you know what? Um, Gizmodo had uh, actually sent out the coordinates um, when Redditors had discovered based on flight plans and Google Maps, uh, the approximation, well, the, the actual exact location of where this was, um, where it was discovered. It was just south of the Dead Horse Point State Park, between the park and the Needles Point, which is apparently a tourist attraction. Uh, they were withholding the information on the location because they didn't want people to go out there and try to take selfies with it with everything going on in the world that's you know the last thing you need to do is go have fun trying to find an alien uh artifact in the U utah desert um based on the information that they were able to find they on on google they estimate from google maps that it was placed somewhere between august of 2015 and october of 2016 so I mean, it's interesting. It's just uh, how do they describe it? There, it, it what four sides, I believe, correct? Three. Three. Okay, so there's three sides. So it's a triangular shape. Yep. Uh, flat top. Yeah. I do know that it was flat on the top. Um, it be and that's a clue. That's a clue as to what this thing is. Okay. Okay. So some think that maybe people it was just a leftover movie prop. Yeah, which is odd. People say that, I, I have read that too. How would you forget that? They thought that a, per, perhaps a production studio was trying to, to film and they, they left it out there in the desert. Um, not really something that I buy into, um, especially once I did some, some research in, in getting the history of, of these things. Um, and we actually see things like this all over the all over the planet. And and I, I think that that really is kind of what, what clued me in as to exactly what it was we were looking at. So uh, for those of you that aren't familiar with um, other structures similar to the Utah monolith, um, I, I don't believe that it was a... Um, I, I don't think it was put there by, by a, a movie studio. So are you familiar with uh, the obelisk? You, do you know what an obelisk is? Okay, so these are um, long structures uh, that, that just protrude out of the ground. The, um, 
You, you see them all over the world. They have them in, in London. We have one um, in Washington, D.C. The uh, George Washington Monument is is an obelisk. It's just this towering structure. And then on top of it, you have um, a pyramid. And that's kind of like the, the calling card. If you, you know, it's common knowledge. You learn this stuff in, in history class that um, the sky goddess um, in Egyptian culture, the, the Egyptian mythology, the sky goddess Nut was her name. Mm-hmm. Um she had an affair with the earth god uh, Jeb, of all names, right? So, um, so Nut and Jeb had an affair, and as kind of a commemoration or um, in recognition of this this relationship of the earth god and the sky goddess, um, these obelisks were erected as a representation of uh, the earth god's um, genitalia. It was uh, essentially these phallic structures that you see all over the world are, in fact, the world's way, the Earth's way of uh, having relations with the sky goddess. So, America... Erected erections. There you go. We've got we've got erected erections all over the world okay. for the sky goddess. Okay? And what sets these apart, what, what, you know, it's every single one of them on top, you've got these, these pyramid-shaped... Uh, tops which is if you you know think about the phallic yeah pieces uh you're going to have they're all capped with these pyramid like shapes i guess if you're kind of squint your eyes a little bit and you're in a dark room you could see a pyramid shape there in fact side note i kind of wonder and this is another hypothesis that if we had the ability to dig down uh, where the the great pyramids are in in Egypt, I think that we would find that that's actually just the top of huge, huge obelisks. Okay, the true earth. The, the true earth. So so uh, to get back to this monolith out in the desert, and you may figure out where I'm going pretty quick. Um, these these obelisks are themselves um, phallic in nature and uh, all topped with the pyramid. But what, what's unique about this one is it doesn't have that top. So I think what we are seeing here, and I think based on historical evidence and, and having these obelisks all over the place, I think what we're actually seeing here is the butt plug of the gods. <laughs> it's, just, it, it's just a god sex toy. That's all it is. We, we've got we've got the obelisks. We can't have one without the other. So uh, that's what we're seeing. It is the very first of its kind. It does not have the pyramid on top, specifically because it's got to be a little gentler. It's still a little sharp there on the edges, though. I mean, and they're gods. That's true. We don't know what their parts look like. That might be the natural shape. I mean. What is it? Is it is it the goose that, that has the corkscrewed penis? I, I don't know. The what the raccoon has an actual bone in its penis, and you can buy those. They're they're a fertility Some symbol. Some have um, like graspers. I, the dolphins have finger appendages yes. to to help hold on. So um, not that this was supposed to turn into <laughs> a. I mean, we are talking about an obelisk discussion of uh, of genitalia, blonde. but. Um, this is crazy talk. So that is pretty crazy. So that's 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 exactly what this is. It has to be. There's no other explanation for it. it you call it a work of art. I mean, I've seen Christmas trees, giant inflatable Christmas trees that in fact were just giant inflatable butt plugs that they would just, "Oh well, yeah, we're going to put this out here." You can't. This is a fa- family's pass by here. It's a Christmas tree. <laughs> it's an upside down Christmas tree. So there you go. It is the Utah monolith is nothing more than the butt plug of the gods. This has been Crazy Talk. (laughs) Until next time, stay crazy. Crazy Talk.